just ahead of the first and perhaps only presidential debate between Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris, the ex-president reminding us all just why former Vice President Dick Cheney, former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney, decided to vote for the Democratic nominee this year, why decorated generals and career military officials who despise the very idea of being involved in our politics or speaking out for the first time. Why this is not a normal election in any way, certainly not one defined by policy debates. In one fell swoop, Donald Trump laid the groundwork to dispute the 2024 election, just as he did in 2020. He threatened mass arrests of election officials, political opponents and critics. It landed like a thunderclap in a Saturday night Truth Social post, it read in part, quote, when I win, those people that cheated will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, which will include long-term prison sentences so that this depravity of justice does not happen again. Please beware that this legal exposure extends to lawyers, political operatives, donors, illegal voters, and corrupt election officials. Those involved in unscrupulous behavior will be sought out, caught, and prosecuted at levels unfortunately never seen before in our country. And now you should know it includes a lot of nonsensical caps, but a couple of long words that make me wonder who wrote it. We decided to read it to you, though, because it's long past time to include what he's saying to ignore what he's saying or to dismiss it as the rantings of an angry and embittered and delusional man. He's all those things. But he often sounds addled and confused. And so we gloss over these things. But this time he's lashing out at the justice system and the election system as he faces a trial for an attempted coup and actual prison time for the election interference case. Although all of that is true. The country has been drinking from the fire hose of Trump's lies and conspiracies for so many years now. It often feels like too many of us have become numb to these kinds of pronouncements, these series of threats from Trump. But at this point, what, 57 days out, to ignore what he's saying is to ignore our political reality and focus instead on a horse race or a tightening of polls. We're not going to do that. Trump is all the things we said. He's addled, he's delusional. The things he writes have bizarre, nonsensical fragments of sentences. They're grammatically incorrect. But he is the Republican presidential nominee, and tomorrow he'll be treated that way. He'll be on stage alongside the only person in the country who could stop him from acting on all the crazy stuff he posted about. Axios reports it like this, quote, Trump proposed two of the largest ever federal arrests of people living in America, including U.S. citizens, if he's reelected, the other being a roundup of millions of undocumented immigrants. We already know what happens when Trump turns his megaphone on election officials and critics. This from the January 6th Select Committee. Stop the steal! Stop the steal! Stop the steal! You're a threat to democracy. You're a threat to free and honest elections. And then about 45 minutes later, we started to hear the noises outside my home and that's I, my stomach sunk and I thought it's me and they're and, and then it's just we don't know what's gonna I mean the uncertainty of that was what was the fear like are they coming with guns are they gonna attack my house I'm in here with my kid I've lost my name and I've lost my reputation I've lost my sense of security all because a group of people starting with number 45 and his ally, Rudy Giuliani, decided to scapegoat me and my daughter, Shay, to push their own lies about how the presidential election was stolen. This turned my life upside down. Um, 
I no longer give out my business card. I don't transfer calls. I um, don't want anyone knowing my name. So what he's posting about is doing that on a national level. And he's going beyond the threats. He's going beyond the proposals that are in black and white in Project 2025 or the promises of his allies and aides that they make day after day in right-wing media. Trump is now making it clear that he will, as the Harris campaign said in a statement, quote, use his unchecked power to prosecute his enemies and pardon insurrectionists who violently attacked our Capitol on January 6th. The Republican presidential nominee promising to imprison scores of political opponents and critics ahead of the first presidential debate.